right, what's going on guys? It's Hijinx Gaming, and today I'm bringing you, could be the 5th or the 6th episode, I'm not too sure. But yeah, uh, it's a road to Max Town Hall 8. Um, I haven't brought one of these out for a long time, so I'm glad I'm getting this out today. Um, I've made a lot of progress so far, just run you through my base. I've got them two wizard towers up to level 6 now. Um, the third one is being upgraded right now um, to level 6. I've got all my cannons to, I think, level 9, I think they are, apart from one, which is being upgraded now. Um, what else have I done? I've been upgrading, oh, that barracks is being upgraded, um, for peckers, but obviously the other ones are a lot behind, but I don't know. I think the reason I do that is because I only ever use one or, like, two, like, really big, um, like, troops, like, I'll only ever use, like, a couple of dragons, or, like, I don't know, just, I'll probably only use, like, two peckers, or something, and then the rest of the barracks, I'll just use, like, wall breakers, giants, and archers, and stuff like that, so, that's kind of the main reason why I'm a bit behind on them, but obviously I do need to, um, catch them up, and, yeah, upgrade them, I've got quite a lot of gold at the moment, so, I don't know, I think I'm just saving up, I'll probably start on my cannons next, and that's going to be quite a long time doing, I think they're 1,600,000 to upgrade, I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, I'll get them up, because they look pretty cool once they've been upgraded, they go uh, gold, Um, and obviously my archer towers, I need to upgrade, you can upgrade them twice, so that's going to take a long time, but it'll be worth it, they look kind of cool. But, no, we're going to go straight into the first raid here. Today I've got some pretty awesome raids, to be honest. I've been trying to switch around my um, my raid strategy a little bit. Trying to get some good raids, some good amount of trophies, um, and a lot of resources. This raid I do pretty well. I was kind of happy with this. I've, the way I've been changing my strategy up is I've been using a lot more giants. I think I've been using 16 giants and also about 10 wall breakers which is working pretty well for me and then obviously I use the barbarians to sort of back the giants up and then the archers I'll either scatter them around the base to take out some of the outer defenses or just get some of them buildings that are in the way but um, no that's yeah that's pretty much what I've been doing I've tried a lot of strategies recently I've been trying to use wizards I've, I'm actually upgrading my wizards at the moment trying to get them to level 4 I think but, um, yeah, because a lot of people in my clan use wizards, so I thought I'd better get them upgraded um, so I can donate them. But, no, nah, as you can see from this raid, um, that's what I've been doing. Like, that's my strategy So at the moment. Just put the giants down. Um, obviously, and I once I see them, like, starting to die, I put the healer down. Uh, when the bar, like, the health bar turns orange, and then I use, yeah, one healer spell and two rage spells. I use the rage spells once they get sort of through the outer walls and start to get inside the base where their main defences are, like the mortars and the wizard towers. And I, yeah, I just put them rage spells down to speed them up and get um, rid of them defences as soon as possible. Uh, this this raid's going well. You can see already a hundred or two hundred thousand gold, two hundred thousand elixir. I've got two stars so far. I've sped it up as they just sort of go around the base taking out them defences. My archers are working well with the Barb King, but he dies here. And um, the shame about this, I think I could have done a tiny bit better. My archers sort of go towards the army camps, which isn't really what I wanted. Like, obviously they couldn't really help it, but you see here that cannon's left. They're going for that army camp, and that's just taking them out there. If I had maybe some more troops, I need to upgrade them army camps. If I had some more troops... See, that was the only defense left, that one cannon. Um, but I could have got the 100% maybe. But still a really good raid. I was happy with that raid. 11 trophies. And that's over 500k resources, which is crazy. And yeah, I was happy with that. At the moment, I'm on gold free, which is, isn't that good, I guess. But my trophy's been dropped a lot, um, which is... I don't know, it's kind of good and kind of bad. It means people aren't going for my resources and trying to 100% my base. Um, a lot of them are just going for the town hall, um, giving me them shields, and leaving my resources alone, which is 
I don't know, I guess it's good, it's farming, that's what it's about, but, um, no, no, um, when I'm raiding, I do really need to try and get as much trophies as possible to kind of even it out, because I don't want to go too far down, I don't want to be, like, nearly silver one, but I sort of want to be gold three, gold two, that sort of trophy count, but where I am now isn't bad, I guess. Um, I'm happy with it, but this raid right here was pretty awesome raid to be honest. I was happy with it as well. Um, I'm happy with all of these raids to be honest. I've got some really good raids to show you. Um, all I get like good trophies and good resources. But no, on this raid I was think I was using the same sort of strategy as the last one. I'll probably be using that strategy for most of these raids to be honest. Because I found it works pretty well. Um... That, yeah, them giants just go in. If I use a ton of them and just use my spells on them, they just go around cleaning up them defenses, just taking them out. And then obviously my barbarian king helps out. My archers do a lot. I also use goblins with this with this attack strategy because obviously um, if the giants are going around doing their work, I just put a ton of goblins down. Once they're inside the base, they can just go in and just get all the gold, get all the resources. You can kind of see it happening here. Obviously, I weren't using goblins, but yeah, the giants were doing doing a good job around the outside, and then my troops, my wizards, and my archers were just inside the base, just getting them resources. So yeah, good raid. Five seconds left. I've already got. I think that's up. Yeah, so five hundred thousand. It might. It might wait. How much is that? I don't even know. Six hundred thousand, maybe. I don't even know. I'm rubbish at maths. But, um, yeah, good raid, um, 10 trophies, and I was happy with that, so, yeah, it was pretty good. Um, this next raid, also another good raid, um, you can see the amount of resources there, a lot of resources available, not a bad base, um, some of the defences were kind of low, to be honest, see that wizard tower there, that's, I think that's like level 1 or level 2. I think it's level 1, that first one, then the second one's level 2. Um, bad air defense, yeah, I don't think I really used air defense. Air um, troops, no dragons, I don't think, but... Nah, using the same strategy again with them giants. As soon as I see them starting to die, I just put the healer spell down to help them out. And then afterwards, I follow up with the, with the rest of the troops, barbarians, um, archers, wizards... And um, it gets the job done, so I've been happy about it. Um, and yeah, tomorrow I'll be bringing out, hopefully I'll be bringing out another clan raid video. Um, got some really good raids to show you. Everyone participated in sharing raids again, so I was happy with that. And also, it's something that I'm probably going to be bringing out, that I've been wanting to bring out for a long time. Is I'm gonna, it's obviously going to be only one episode, but... On my iPod, which I don't use anymore, I actually print screened my whole progress through um, Clash of Clans, and there's some really good bases on there. So hopefully, I can sort of um, get my old iPod running because it's out of battery at the moment. I'll get that running, and I'll upload them um, photos to my computer, and I could do a little episode on them. It should be really informative because I've got a lot of um, well, my old base designs, I thought they worked really well, so hopefully you should like be able to get something from them, because they did well for me, so hopefully you can use them. Um, and yeah, uh, that raid was really good, the amount of resources is crazy, 364,000 gold, 417,000 elixir, 322 dark elixir, and 4 trophies, another really good raid, and I'll go to the next one now. So this next one guys, you can see the base was kind of crazy to be honest, um, walls all over the place, uh, level 1 walls, level 2 or 3 walls out there, mainly them gold walls and then a couple of level 6 and 7s, but this base also had a fair amount of resources available for me, um, so yeah, same strategy again guys, I do kind of need to mix my strategy up a bit because obviously it's going to be a bit boring me using the same sort of strategy but once I've got the peckers I'm hopefully going to start using um, peckers and wizards um, see how that goes out for me um, it'd be expensive 
um, to train up the troops but hopefully it works out well but as you can see here um, I've got through to the center of the base already um, where that town hall is still got a lot of giants left and my rage spell is good it's affecting my Bob King and um, all them giants uh, my barbarians have been scattered like around the outside of the base and also my archers are helping at the bottom there um, 40 seconds left I remember getting a fair amount of resources of this my um, clan troops have gone um, gone down over there um, they're just going for them collectors and taking out that hidden tesla as well um, I've still got I don't know if I've still got any giants left I don't think I do I think them archers are the only things left but they're going for them collectors where I think most of the resources were to be honest but um, I'm getting a lot of resources from it, nearly 200k gold, 130,000 elixir. So although I didn't really take out that much of this base, I still got what I needed. I also got two stars, um, which is good. There was still two gold storages left, but um, it was unlucky that I didn't get to them. But still, doesn't really matter. I got what I come for. There was only a little bit more loot available. So it doesn't matter too much. But yeah, guys, that's going to be it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, remember to give it a like. Let's go for 20 likes this video. Also, subscribe to my channel. It would mean loads. Um, and also, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm going to be uploading what I said. I'll be uploading my Clam Raid video tomorrow. And also, I'm going to be uploading um, the video to show you my progress through Clash of Clans soon, so look forward to that guys, and I'll see you later.